بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is our third lecture in academic writing and today we are going to talk about narrative paragraph There are three main point, important points in this paragraph talking about first about the uh, organization about sentence structure and about um, uh, punctuation and writing Okay, so organization about narration here is what? Is story writing. When you write a narrative paragraph, you write about events in the order that they happen. Uh, in other words, you, uh, you use time order to organize your sentences. So here we focus on to write what or to use what? Time, order, words or phrases to, orga to organize your writing. As you read the model paragraph, look for words and phrases uh, that tell when something happened. So here, that are highlighted in, uh, in yellow, here are the, the uh, order or the time order phrases or words. For example, at first, then, meanwhile, at last, then, next. These are used to organize the events according to their happening or according to their to the uh, chronicle order of these events. Okay, so here we have narration, it's a story writing. And here we are going in this paragraph, we are going to write not a story but um, similar to a story because you are talk talking about something that happened in the past and you are going to tell what is happened. Okay, here we have two questions. I want you to, uh, in which uh, four sentences, four sentences does the word earthquake appear? Okay, when you read, when you uh, uh, see this paragraph, so read and to find this. What words and phrases show when different action talk place? Okay, circle them. Time order in the modal narrative paragraph, the writer used time order to what to tell what happened first, what happened next, and what happened after that. So time order to organize the events according to their happening. Here we have time order signals. We have words, we have phrases. Finally, first, later, Meanwhile, next, now, and so on. Okay, at last, at twelve, uh, before before beginning the uh, the lesson, and these are the phrases, the phrases and the words we can use to organize our writing when we write a narrative paragraph. An important point: put comma after time order. Okay, signals that comes before the subject at the beginning of a sentence. Okay, when we use these, for example, uh, finally, first, later, meanwhile, and this or these phrases in the second part. Okay, so we have to put a comma after them and before the subject. But here we have an exception that then, soon, and now are usually not followed by a comma. So when we have and, uh, sorry, when we have then, soon, now, we should not use comma. Uh, here we have an examples. At first, comma, none of none of us realized what was happening for a minute or two, comma. Okay, because it's what it's a uh, time order. Okay, but here we have then we arrive because then here an exception that then should not uh, take comma. So this is an important point that you have to focus on. Put a comma after time orders. Okay, in B here, complete the paragraph. Here we have a paragraph and uh, uh, you have to complete this paragraph with what? With the time order signals. These are the time order signals. First, on the night before, uh, about three in the morning. Then, after that, in the morning, before taking the first uh, the first bit, okay. So you have to use the, these uh, time orders to fall in the uh, in this paragraph. So complete the paragraph with the order signals from the list 
provided and what else to do, what you have to do. Uh, you have also to uh, capitalize and punctuate them correctly. When you use these uh, these words or this phrase or time order signals, you have then to capitalize and to punctuate when you find it's necessary to capitalize and to use punctuation. Okay, this paragraph continue on the uh, on page uh, 26. Okay, here we have another example or another exercise you have to work on. Use these words and phrases, okay, also to fall in the uh, here in this uh, paragraph or in these blanks. I have done some of them for you. So here we have, for example, on the day of the party, during the party, before the party, at the beginning of the party, first, after that, then, next, finally, later. You have to use them. For example, here you have then, used twice. That means you have to use it uh, two times in this uh, paragraph. And also pay attention to use, uh, to um, capitalize and if you feel it's necessary for that. Okay, here you have new words. This is also continuing on page 27, I mean this exercise. Here we have another or third one. The following set of sentences are not in correct time order. Okay, number the sentence just to write the numbers, the correct numbers. For example, number one sentence should be when you read them, so they um, form a paragraph, a story, a short a short idea. Okay, so I want you to organize these sentences in their correct order. Number one, number two, I have done the first part and I want you to work on the, the second and the third. Just to put the number uh, on the left of each sentence. Number one, number two, three, four, according to their happening, okay? According to their order in the, uh, as a paragraph. And then you have to write what? To write these sentences from preceding exercise as paragraph. Then you have to write them as paragraph. Not only this, but to try to make your paragraph flow smoothly by using these two techniques. So here, to write them in paragraph, and also you have to make it, uh, your paragraph flow smoothly. That means easy to read, easy to understand by, by the reader. To, uh, how to do that? By adding time order signals. You will add, for example, first, second, next, after that, then, and so on. Okay, so when you add these, will make your, you will make your paragraph, your text, your writing uh, flow smoothly. This is number one. Number two, combine uh, combine some of these sentences to form simple sentences with one subject and two verb. Here we have in green, for example, these sentences are combined to make simple sentences. Next, she, pile them and rinse them. Okay, so here we have one subject, she, but two verbs, piled and rinsed them. Okay, we have another example here. She put them in the uh, dishwasher and turned it on. Here we have also two verbs, one subject, so we have uh, combined them in one sentence. Okay, so here you have to work in the to work on the two, this one on the two part, number two and number three to write paragraphs and to use these techniques to make them flew smoothly and um, also to combine some of the sentences to make simple sentences. Yes, uh, so we have talked about organization. Now we come to the sentence structure. The model for this section is folktale. Folktale, what is a folktale? Is traditional story that has been passed down orally from one generation to the next until someone finally writes down. Okay? Hikaya Shabia. So folktale, a folktale is a traditional story that has been passed down 
orally, okay? Or from one generation to, uh, to the next until someone write it down. So here uh, in these, every culture is rich in folktale and this is from Japan. Okay, here the, uh, I want you to focus on what? On the uh, time orders or time order phrases and sentences used in this. Of course, you have to read this uh, model, but I have highlighted the time orders that are important to see how they use them. For example, once upon a time, one day, during lunch, after a while, at home, back, uh, back at home, sorry. Okay, so these to make the, the paragraph or the text flow smoothly and um, easy to understand. A questions on the uh, model, what, ki what kind of order does this folktale use? Okay, uh, and circle the time orders. I have already done this. If you find another, you can circle, circle them. Okay, compound sentences with and, but, so, and, or. In chapter one, we have talked about the simple sentences, okay? That has one subject, verb, a combination. We have simple sentence, we have one, ver one verb, uh, one subject and one verb combination. Another kind of sentences is what that we are talking about today, that we are going to talk about today is compound sentence. A compound sentence, has two or more subject verb combination. Okay? So a compound sentence or compound sentences, compound sentence has two or more subject verb combination. Compound sentence is composed of at least two simple sentences joined by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. And this is a very important point, okay? So compound sentences are, uh, is composed of at least two simple sentences. How they are joined these two uh, simple sentences by comma and a coordinating conjunction. A compound sentence has this formula. This is the formula of the uh, compound sentences. Here we have the gold uh, disappeared with the mice. So this is what this is the conjunction or the coordinating conjunction. So, and here the uh, greedy man got nothing. So here we have two simple sentences, the first one and the second. Here we have comma after the second or be before the conjunction, the coordinating conjunction, okay? And the second one, we um, compose them or combine them in one compound sentence. There are seven coordinating conjunctions, seven coordinating conjunctions in English that we can use them to combine, uh, to combine small, uh, sorry, simple sentences into compound sentences. We have and, but, so, or, for, nor, and, yet. Okay. In this paragraph, we are going to focus on these four, and, but, so, or. Okay, these are what the coordinating conjunctions that we use to combine or to join simple sentences to make uh, compound sentences. And to join sentences that are alike, but join sentences that are opposite or show contra contrast. So join sentences when the a second sentence expresses the result of something describing in the first one. So it's express results. Or join sentences that give choices or alternatives. Here we have the examples for this. Okay, now we come to, to the exercise, ex exercises or practices. Use comma before a coordinating conjunction in compound sentences only. When we use these uh, coordinating conjunctions in compound sentences, so we use comma. Do not use a comma to join two words or two phrases in a simple sentence. But when we use them in simple sentence, sentence or simple sentences to 